they not on that block and they not what they seem. Uh, I got that Glock 40 with the beam. Kick go jugging shit with the team. Uh, Cabin yeah. stack baby nigga for the green. Uh, Chopstick mop nigga, Mr. Clean. Yeah, Turn up upside down, Stranger Things. Wait. Niggas really pussy out here, Panther Pink. Uh, I don't really like rap so Hey guys, it's Killer Kill 360 back with another one. Um, I want to give a shout out to L.E. Bones. Um, he watched my video. He know I'm a big Nami fan, but go give him some subscribers. He makes really good content. He's um made a um what if um Deku was in One Piece, and it's really good. So go check him out. Get him to 20 subscribers or higher, guys. Go check him out and support him. He makes really good content, and I hope he keeps up the good work. So, yeah, let's cut back to the story now. So, you know, me, Nami, um, you know, wake up. I'm like, damn, that was one hell of a night. Um, so, she's like, yeah, you put me through the ringer, silly. I'm like, I know. And you know, me and Nami just, we just hit it off. We, it's over. It, it's, it's done. It's, it's sealed. Me and her is just white on race, you know? So, we, I wake up, we get dressed, take a shower and shit, you know? We wake up, we out. We leave the house, and then everybody's outside besides um, Luffy, Zoro, and um, Sanji, like. What's up, guys? What y'all two been up to? And stop being nosy, says Naomi. Uh, I guess we already know what it is. But anyway, um, yo, Kiyoya. That's my new, that's gonna be my character name now, Kiyoya. Because I forgot the other one, Kiyoya. That's his name, his last name change is done. His name is Kiyoya. So let's get back to the story. So he's like, yo, Kiyoya, um, let me see those katanas you have. I've always wanted to um see them in close up in person because you never take them out and you always keep them up. I'm like, why not here? I throw the source in, he catches them. And he's like, What the hell? You have two black blades? Oh uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that, Zoro. I forgot how much of a sword fan you are because you know you know your swords because you're a swordsman. Um, but, um, Red Hair Shanks gave me that. And once I say that, everybody just look at me like, you know Red Hair Shanks? Even Nami's like, what the hell? How you know Red Hair Shanks? Yeah, me and Luffy knew him. Um, we, we look up to him. He used to, um, hang with us in the, um, East Blue. Well, yeah, in the East Blue. Um, guys, I forgot the island. Please forgive me. But, um, we used to hang out and stuff and we look up to him we throb to be the same pirates as him or greater she's like that's no real because right here shanks is no joke in this what is he's more stronger than and canon like he's he's easily number one on yonko so i know y'all gonna be like that's cat kaido is but you know Sorry, but um, that's happening. Everybody is just in disbelief that I know Shanks and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm like, all right, let's head back to the ship, guys. So we all walk back to the ship. Luffy's still eating his ass off. I'm like, damn, man, how much can you eat? That must be. It must be cool to have a rubber fruit because you can stretch your stomach out. He's like, yep. <laughs> oh, that's why you have a bottle in this pit, you clown. And he laughs. And I go down, sit down, and eat. But Nami's like, you shouldn't be talking. Sorry, guys, for the notification. Nami's like, you shouldn't be talking. You eat just as much as him. But you don't have a rubber fruit. Well, I need to eat a lot because of my double fruit. It's, it, it operates different from... Y'all, I really have like a um, I explained to them how my devil fruit work. It's like a really um advanced apex predator type of devil fruit. Like, I need to eat a lot to sustain my energy, or I'll be sluggish and don't want to do anything. And I hate being like that. 
So that's why I eat so I can keep my energy up. That explains a lot, says Nami. Um, and then they're like, what are you talking about? Um, and then she starts blushing and she's like, nothing. <laughs> um, I know what she's talking about. Like, I'm a freaking animal when it comes to bedtime. That's all I gotta say. So, that's why she, you know, blushing. Y'all don't know. Everybody's like, okay, that was weird. But let's cut over to the Marines. So, what's going on, says, um... The um Captain Son Goku, I mean Fleet Admiral Son Goku, he's top ten older than. So he's like, yo, what's going on? Um, sir, it's these new pirates, these new rookies that are coming up, and apparently they have two captains on the same ship. Let me see that right now. So he reads it, kid. This the um pirate, pirate um Kiyoya has an unknown devil fruit that allows him to swim. What the hell? And turn into a dragon, snake, shark type of creature. What the hell? I need this Marine who reported this and need him in here in his room right now. So he comes up and he's like, Yes, sir, what do you want me? What? I could be your help at any service. Tell me now. Yes. Who is this pirate with this unknown double fruit that can make him swim? His name is Kiyoya. Mm, I know his name, but um, can you explain how he looks in this new double, this double fruit transformation? Well, all I gotta say is like a fishman slash dragon slash shark. I don't know what he is. He called himself a naga. Naga, I heard of that. You, that that's the same devil fruit that Rock D. Beth had. We need to find him and put him down before it becomes a threat. You mean Rock D. Beth has that devil fruit? Yes, everybody in a freaking um freaking um room just froze like holy shit. So. We cut back to us. Um, so we just, you know, we, we leave. Nezuko comes with us. Sanji and Nezuko hit it off pretty well. So that's why Sanji is not that salty no more. You feel me? They hit it off. So that's going to be the couple between them, Nezuko and Sanji. And she joins the crew. So I'm like, yo, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Usopp. We all need to train. Plus, we need a doctor on our ship. He's like, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, so, you know, we train. We get to, um, what do you call it? Where the, um, giants are. So, we get there. Zoro and, um, Luf I mean, Zoro and Sanji still has competition. Who can get the biggest dinosaur? I'm like, uh... Nami, you want to chill with me? She's like, yeah, no problem. I'll chill with you. I'm going to stay here with Kiyoya. They're like, all right. So I'm just thinking about life and shit. I'm like, I can't believe I'm really in one piece. And then I hear, <laughs> what are you talking about? What the hell is this one piece world you're talking about? Because he doesn't know the, the um, Naga in my head. He doesn't know what I'm talk thinking about. Shut the hell up. Get out my head, you stupid fool. Keep getting my, my my mind. Leave me the hell alone. You must feed into my power. You will get corrupted. No, I won't. Get the hell out of my head. And I use my Conqueror's Hockey. Now I'm before so her knees. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. She's like, what the hell is that? I just felt all this, this gravity. I'm sorry, Nami. Um, it's not Conqueror's Hockey. What the hell is Conqueror's Hockey? I know you said you wanted to explain that to us before, but you never got a chance to. Uh, I'll explain to you once everybody gets back to the crew. Onto the ship. So, Nami's like, um, I'm gonna look around and explore the place. I'm like, Nami, you be careful. Take this, um, snail, just in case you need me and I'll get over towards you. 
She's like, you're so sweet. All right, thank you. I'll be careful, I promise. I'm like, okay. I kiss on her forehead. She leaves. Um, so I'm like, yeah. I think I should train Zoro and Luffy into in in hockey training. Well, no, not really much Luffy. Luffy knows Conqueror's hockey because me and him have it. But I need to train Zoro into hockey. And Sanji. So, once everybody gets back, I'm like, yo, where's Nami? I don't know, man. I didn't see her. But I'm going to be right back. And I turn into my hybrid form. And with my hybrid form, I have a good sense of smell. So, I smell around, I catch her scent, and then I just blitz towards that way. I catch up to her, because I'm moving mad fast. And every time, like, and when I'm in the forest, all the animals are scared of me. Like, they like, no, I don't want to pump it to them. That man is, like, will kill me. Every animal flee the whole island. They're like, everybody on the ship is like, what the hell is going on? Why are all the animals fleeing the island? So, I finally... Um, see Nami, she's on the floor, breathing hard. I'm like, Nami, you okay? What's going on? She's like, I don't, I don't feel so good, kill you. And I put my hand on her head, and I'm like, oh my god, you have a fever. What's going on? And I pick her up, and I put, I take her back to the ship, and I'm like, yo, we gotta find a doctor. She has a really bad fever. She's burning up. So me and Luffy is like, alright, we got we leave right now. We're gonna find a um doctor for her. After we help the giants and shit, you know. So I'm looking for a doctor. And Vivi's on the ship too. And Nezuko. Nezuko's so worried about her sister. I'm like, I promise you I will find a doctor for her. So we get to Drum Island. So yeah. So we get to Drum Island and shit, right? So we pulling up. They're like pirates, and they start attacking us. We're like, we don't want no no fight. We don't want to fight. No, no bloodshed will be drawn. All I need is a doctor. I need to help my girlfriend. She's dying. We don't give a damn about you. That damn pirates are all scum. And I'm like, I don't got time for this shit. And I just release my conqueror's hockey, and I knock them all out, besides the one. He's like, what the hell is that? Ugh. Now, you listen to me right now. I don't have no time for bullshit. My girlfriend needs help. Everybody's like, whoa. Zoro, um, Zoro, Sanji, Usopp. Yeah, those three, and um, Vivi and Nezuko are on his knees. The only one that's standing up with no problem is Luffy. They're like, what the hell was that? Besides Zoro, he he he's on his knees, but he's not knocked out. <sighs> Sorry guys, but I had to do that or we wasn't gonna get nowhere. Um, but I made sure I didn't touch Nami or nothing like that. So, like my girlfriend needs help. He's like, fine, come with me. Since you knocked my people out and not killed them. So we get to where the village is and stuff. But the doctor's on the other side of the mountain. I'm like, God damn it. I'm like, yo, Nami, what you want me to do? You want me to take you? Or you want to wait for her? I know you can't really wait for her. She's like, no, it's okay. Just take me there. I'm like, all right. So I pick Nami up. I tie her on my back and stuff. Nezuko's like, please take good care of her. Please don't let nothing happen to her. I promise you I won't. So she on, on my back. This time, um, Sanji's not gonna be there. So I'm like, what is the fastest route to get there? Well, you might have to. The only way you will get up there in time is you climb the cliff. I'm like, fine, I'll climb the cliff. Everybody's like, but that's d dangerous. You can die too. Uh, well, I take the chance. She's Nezuko's like. Nami, nah, I mean, you got yourself a good man. So I'm like, alright, it's time to climb this um mountain. I put on my coat and stuff. And I'm like, I'm ready. I take my swords off. I'm like, yo, Zoro, you might as well just keep these swords. 
So I gave my sources all. <clears throat> it's like, well, thanks, bro. Yeah, so. So I begin climbing the mountain and shit. And I'm like, Nami, I promise I will make sure you get better. So I'm climbing this shit. Everything um goes in canon. You know, with Zoro and um, Sanji's there too, so everything goes a lot more smoothly. Um But I'm climbing the the mountain, I'm like, damn, this shit is hard. Luffy made this not easy, but oh, it look hard, man. My hands start to freeze. I'm like, armament hockey. Since I have armament hockey, so I use my armament hockey to climb the um, mountain, which is good. So my hands won't be bleeding as much. So I free climb the whole way up to the top of the cliff. Well, a whole bunch of. I still have force bite, even though I have armament hockey. I have full spikes on the spots that it's not covered by hockey. Because I can't do full body hockey yet. I can't do it. So, I'm, I'm breathing hard as I get to the top. And I pass out. Almost passed out. And then Chopper and, you know, the doctor tries to um, fix me up. I'm like, and I tell them to stop. Please get to her first. She needs more help than me. They're like, but you can die too. No, she needs it more. She has a fever. And she's already in critical condition. She needs help. And I pass out. So they take care of Nami first. <clears throat> and then they bandage me up and all that. I'm sleeping. Um, Nami wakes up before me. She's like, oh, what happened? And then, you know, the doctor um talks to her. She's like, I need to get up. And then, you know, she's still strapped and I'm into the bed. Like, you're not going nowhere. That man risked his life to get you up here. At least you can do is stay in bed and get better. She, she's, she's like, what did he do? This man free climbed the whole mountain cliff for you. And bad, terrible weather. You know, Nami's like shocked. She's about to cry like, oh my God, why he do that? He did that because you was dying. Yeah, I, I just the last thing I remember is having a bad fever, then I passed out. And I woke up, and then I passed out again. So, she's like, oh, I feel a little bit better now, but do you have any idea what that was that did that to me? And then, you know, the doctor pulls out the tick. She's like, oh, what is that? Yeah, this is what made you sick like that, and you almost died. You know, this Dami, she's like, oh my god, I can't believe I was so careless. And then notice that. Yup. That's why you wear full body clothes when you're in the jungle. Says the doctor. She's like, I know, I'm silly for doing that. But Nami sees what condition I'm in. Like, I scraped up and all of that bandaged up. She's like, oh my god. And she, she's like, alright, I'm gonna stay in the bed. And then I wake up, I'm like. I need something to eat. I peek my eye open. It was a reindeer. Reindeer! And I changed the reindeer. He's like, ah, oh, he's trying to eat me. I'm like, meat. Let me cook you up. <laughs> and then, you know, I get punched in the head by the old lady. She's like, he's not food. But other than that, guys, um, I'm going to give you part five later on today. Kill I Kill, signing out, peace, and shouts out to L.E. Bones, check him out, and guys, I'm out of here, peace.